I'm Riley. I'm in my third year of a dual degree program at NYU. I'm getting my master's in social work and public health, um, and I'll be graduating in May, actually. I'm Lawrence, Lawrence Wadam Futso from Malawi. So I'm actually working with Unicef Malawi, but I'm also doing school at NYU in the uh, global health uh, concentration. My name is Lillian Mutua, head of health promotion in Nairobi City County. Uh, doing public awareness, health communication, and also motivating the communities to take charge of their health. The experience has truly been wonderful. Um, it's been interesting, engaging, um, inspirational, and I really feel like I'm practical, right? That's, that's important in this work, right? We can talk about theory, um, but we have people in the room um, who have lived experience and that's really what what I gained from this week right because we can learn about these things at NYU and it feels so far removed but we come in and we talk to these health professionals and and really get from them their wealth of knowledge about the, the material so it really just puts things into perspective. I, I feel the program has been really intense and really good because it brought in to various dimensions of, of, of people, students from NYU, as well as professionals from UNICEF, as well as diverse people from people from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Kenya, Malawi. So it was a really mixed group of people that shared experiences, uh, as well as what's all kind of thing happening on the ground, um, uh, in addition to what we've learned, uh, and what we're learning as, as students as well. So it was, it was a good, good experience, I should say. And Strathmore is really, really, Organized. I, I, I really loved how um, Strathmore organized um, itself, organized us as students, and provided us content that was quite relatable. First of all, the location of the university very strategic, easy to access. Uh, for the infrastructure, very accommodative, a very good conducive environment for learning. For the faculty that was taking us through, very informed. They've done their research very well, and uh, they have the passion to drive the agenda. For the participants who were in this course, I was very delighted because it was not only theoretical, but we shared experiences from different backgrounds and different parts of the world, looking at similar but different agendas, and all geared to improving the health globally and especially looking at the social aspects where we are looking at strengthening communities to take control in decision making and also collaborating with different governments and non-government and implementing agencies to make decisions. Personally, I, I feel like I've learned a lot. I think one of, one, one of the key areas was that we learned was on systems thinking and how we link um, systems, what, what causes various elements in, in, in our work. So it has also broadened my understanding and my thinking and think broader and bigger than what's uh, the current context that I live in. So even in my professional career, I will use that in my work with UNICEF as well as a, as a person. It has broadened my understanding and the way I relate with, with various systems. I mean, there are so many valuable lessons through this program, both in what we've learned, but uh, material-wise, but also just group dynamics, uh, leadership, presentation skills, working with people from all over the world, different cultures, like that. that is valuable information, especially in the world of global health, which many of us are concentrating in. My key learning from numerous learnings that I've taken is on human-centered design and how programming will, uh, will affect my programming when I go back to Malawi because uh, we even uh, prototyped a project that we were working on, on as, as groups and I think one of the best interventions would be uh, uh, how we affect SPC uh, interventions in a human-centered uh, design process. So it, it'll be interesting to carry out uh, the, the project that we're working on and how, how see how it can help, let's say, reduce cholera in Malawi, which is ravaging right now and uh, wreaking havoc. So it will be interesting to see how this works, but the uh, experience as well as the knowledge spent has been very diverse.